Hello, I'm Tiny Ghost, and I was asked to do a tutorial on the horse stable that I built for my tavern. And so, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna start off with some spruce logs. The gap in between, place two. Two block gap. One. Two. One. I believe I need four of them. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna take our smooth sandstone. Go back four, I believe. Yep, five. Just like this. Connecting up between each of these pairs of grease logs. Okay. Here. Let's go in here. Find me some smooth pairs. Oh, sorry, smooth sandstone. Grab some steps as well. I'm trying to remember exactly how I did this part. Okay, and I changed this so that it's a larger opening. Up in the corners. Do that on either side. the way. Add in. And this makes it look like there's little holes for the horses to stick their heads out or just get air. Actually need four tall. Like that. And then we're gonna come in and find some dark oak stairs. I apologize, I'm having to go back and look at what I did because I built this kind of on the fly. Here. Oh. Oh. 
across. Framing in smooth sandstone. End up doing this. And then in the middle parts, do another pull up. Frame the whole thing out. Kind of makes it look like there's another smaller beam right here and it helps center this while still showing some of the smooth sand through. Here, what we're gonna do I just go Oops. I use dark prismarine slabs and dark oak slabs. Go off to the end. You oh. just staircase up. Same level up. Same level up. Kind of just work from both sides so that way it can meet at the middle where I want it to. Being replaced. So you want to put more. We make sure that the prismarine is in the right location. Yes. Okay. We're going to take the dark oak slabs, put another layer up in front. And then two stairs that way. Here, actually 
go back in. All dark oak slabs. I think that it looks better from the underside. We can bring the roof over. Oh. Let me grab out a full block, it makes it a little bit easier. spots are basically just full blocks which if you watched my original speed builds you could see that I did the same thing of using full blocks here on this side of making it all dark oak. Then we can go in with the slabs. near the end here do you really need to show uh, the connection here so it's not just corner like that so if you are building this in survival that's a way that you can save yourself from using too many resources stair and we go back around to the front side and you can do whatever you want if you watched my speed build again you could see that I messed around with a couple different designs I'm going to do what I did see but first I'm gonna have to remember how I did that okay that there I'm gonna log up dark oak slab across to log going up one as well. And then a stair. And here I put a full log going up. Which this happened. Here I put a stair going this way and a stair going this way again. Then you can repeat that on this side. Looks 
point to me. And here in the center. Lab and four fence gates like that. Okay, That's the front side. Then we go around to the back. Need to fill this all in. Again with the smooth sandstone. Wonderful block. I love this block to build with. Duck around here. Okay. Over this side. I'm gonna put away the fences and take back my. Smooth stone, smooth handstone stairs. I'm gonna continue these logs up. Like that. And on the sides, down here, we're gonna add another log. They're going that way. Some of those. Yes. And then another spruce log. Going there. There here. Slab there. And repeat that on this side. There. And then one of those. That. There. Nope. <laughs> side I filled it all in and like that stair stair and then again some stairs and then slabs all across the top I'm gonna break out these four Make a small square thing here. There we go. Like that. Okay. Don't need that anymore. Don't think. So I'm going to go and grab some orange stained glass panes. You can use blocks, just whatever works for you. I just did something similar to this inside the tavern, so I wanted to make it be the same. Just like that. And then I went and I added some lighting up in the top here so that it, it would shine out the window. I'm actually going to put it here so you can't see the torch. Okay. The 
and there you go. You can see that it just makes that nice small window. Oh, I forgot the logs on this side. There we go. And then now we're inside the stalls. I'm gonna grab some potzel. Completely fill in. sides here. I wanted to show dark oak on the interior. So frame it out like that. And I put those on the top half. Actually I think that I use yeah I actually used um warped I used some of that again on the interior of the tavern. if you're building this on survival having those two torches should be enough that nothing should spawn up here but you might want to double check the light levels okay and that's pretty much the base building now i'll show you um how i did some of the design work. So I used um, full lanterns. Put them in each of these. Okay, and then I'm going to grab some On the interior, I used some cauldrons filled with water. Where are they? No. Yep. And then also... Put some hay in. I'm gonna grab some water. And I just put the cauldron in that corner. Filled it with water. I like to kind of put some on the ground because it makes it look like it's fallen off. And I left this one blank because there was no horse in this one in my video, but easy enough um, if you want to. Just however much you feel like. that. Okay. And then I put some item frames. Yeah, I'm just going to use this. On either side here to kind of hold the horse's equipment while it's resting. It's kind of my train of thought. So then I put a Saddle and some horse armor. I just kind of put whatever felt right, I guess. 
And I also put a lead on this end one where there was no horse, so if you want to do that, you can do that as well. Just like that. I might have done it the other way around in my builds, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Just however you feel like it should be. And then I grabbed some leaves. And it just threw in bushes. Kind of willy nilly. Oh, and I of course had uh, paths. And then I also mixed in some of the podzol to kind of make like it was spilling out. And then just of course wherever you want the path to go to lead up. Or if you're doing a different sort of path in your world, just however works for you. And then I also took some vines. And on my other build, I had it like inside spots like this, but this build, there were very few spots that I could do that. So I kind of just put them wherever felt right. I also liked putting one over. I thought that was a really cool detail. And then around this side here, I made it so there was a little stack of hay. I'm spilling it out, actually, I think. It's just there. Yeah, that's good. And then I put a barrel. direction you feel like. I'm gonna do it that way. And I had some more bushes. Vines. And then this one going around the corner. Wherever you feel like. And it's on my top rocks. I have a little bush here. there. <laughs> it was really just wherever. Wherever I felt like. And then the only thing left is to add the horses, and I had this little outdoor area, kind of like an overspill, in case there were more horses, more people staying at the tavern than usual. And so I used some spruce trap doors with water, and then some fences, some dark oak fences, to kind of tie the leaves to. I just kind of went like that. I made sure that they weren't attached to anything. Kind of that. Move this one over. More symmetrical. And then I just filled it with water. And that is how I built the stable. I still love this build. I think that 
it's amazing. I I think it's probably one of the favorite builds that I've done on this channel so far. I'll just put a little horse friend. And I like to jump up in the back there. And there we go. So thank you so much for watching. If you do build this, uh, I would love it if you could take a picture, um, take a screenshot and put it on your Instagram and tag me. My Instagram is in the description below. I would love to see you do this build or any variations of it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I would love it if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are not already. Thank you so much. Bye.